Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to install Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game from Xbox app or if you are unable to install it from Microsoft Store on your Windows computer then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right here you can see a profile icon. Click on it then click on sign out. Then click on sign in. Now select the right account and then click on continue. It will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here and log in. Now open Xbox app. On the top left here, you can see your profile. I can click on it and then click on sign out. Then again, click on sign in. Now use the same account which you have used on Microsoft Store. So log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app and then try to install the game. Also make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically is on over here in windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically make sure that is also on in windows 11 select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now and then go to region and make sure right country is selected over here. Now try to install the game. Now the next step is to, if you're trying to install the game from Xbox app, then try to install it from Microsoft Store library. So open Microsoft Store. On the bottom left here, you can see library. Click on library. And you will find the game over here. So if you find the game in the list, so scroll down and find the game. Now once you find the game, in front of it, you will see the install option. So try to install it from Microsoft Store library. Now, if you are using Microsoft Store to install, then use Xbox app. So open Xbox app, find the game, and then you can search the game over here and then try to install the game from Xbox app. Now, the next step is to run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command, type in power cell in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Windows power cell, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command, hit the enter key and let the process complete. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. For this, go to this location. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, then open C Drive, then open Users folder. And over here you will find your username folder. So open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here, then click on View, select Show, and then put a check on the put a check on Hidden Items. Then you should be able to see App Data. In Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find View. So click on View. Now, once you select view somewhere over here, you will find hidden items, put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data, open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now scroll down. Now over here, you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. So open this Windows Store folder. And then over here, you can see local cache folder, make a right click and then click on delete. And once this is deleted, restart your computer and then try to install the game. Now, the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So for this, type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, then click on app setting. Now, this will open Windows settings. And then scroll down and here you can see the repair option. So click on repair. And after the repair, you can open store or Xbox app and then try to install the game. If still you are facing the problem, then perform reset. So click on reset, reset. Now after the reset, you can open Xbox app or Microsoft store and then try to install the game. Do the same thing with Microsoft store. So make a right click on Microsoft store and then click on app settings once again. And this will again open Windows settings. 
again scroll down and click on repair and after the repair try to install the game but still you are unable to install it then perform reset so click on reset reset and after the reset open xbox app or microsoft store and then try to install the game now the next step is to update xbox app and store and other apps from store library so open microsoft store on your computer Now on the bottom left here, you can see library option. So click on library. And then once you click on library on the right hand side, on top right here, you can see the option which says get updates. So click on get updates. And once all the updates are installed, try to install the game. Now the next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Xbox identity provider. Click on get or install and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and over here you will find xbox identity provider now if this is not installed you will see the install option or get option in my case this is already installed so there is no button over here but in your case if this is not installed you will see install or get option so install it and after this uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this will uninstall gaming services from your computer and once done now copy this command paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and you will see the install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once the download is complete now you can open microsoft store or xbox app and then try to install the game now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services Now find IP helper in the list, make a double click on IP helper, set the startup type as automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. So at the end here you can see all the Xbox services, make a double click on all the Xbox services one by one and set it to automatic, then click on apply, click on start and then click on OK. Now again make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start, then click on OK. Again automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services in the list make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click then click on start if it's already running then make a right click and then stop it and then we will restart the service make a right click then click on stop and then make a right click once again click on start or restart make a right click once again then click on start now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply and then click on start if highlighted then click on ok now try to install the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings now click on windows update or update and security then click on check for update and once you see the install option install all the updates over here and after the installation restart your computer so once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to install the game now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset click on it this will open this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store so over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store now you can open xbox app or store and then try to install the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app in microsoft store so for this type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall and then again click on uninstall and after the uninstall 
copy this command to uninstall Microsoft Store. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. And this will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. And once it is uninstalled, restart your computer. And after the system restart, copy this command and then again open PowerShell. And then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store. So now you can open Store. And after you open Microsoft Store, you can install Xbox app. We have uninstalled Xbox app. So if you want, you can type in type in Xbox app in the search box over here and then click on Xbox app. And then install Xbox app. And after the installation, open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to try installing the game to C drive. Or if you are already installing it to C drive, then try different drive. So for this, open settings and then go to system and then go to storage. Scroll down, click on advanced storage settings and then click on change or change where new content is saved. Click on it. Now over here, if you are installing the game to C drive, click over here and then select a different drive. Right now, I don't have any other drive connected. So if you are trying to install it to C drive, then you can try different drive. So click on this down arrow and select different drive. But in case if you are already trying to install it to D drive or other drive, then in that case, you can click on it and then select C drive and then click on apply and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to rename WP system and Windows apps folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now, so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties, go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here, everyone and then click on check names, then click on OK. Now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply, OK, OK, OK and then again make a right click on WP system folder, select properties once again, go to the security tab once again, click on advanced once again. Now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal. Now type in everyone once again and then check names. OK. Now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. So now you can rename it. Make a right click then click on rename. Rename it as wpsystem.old. Now still your face problem, in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again. Open file explorer and then go to this PC, open D drive, then make a right click on windows apps and then rename it. Now before rename you have to take the ownership, make a right click then click on properties, go to security tab, advanced, now click on change over here, type in everyone in the box, now click on check names, then click on ok. Now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply. OK. OK. Again OK. Again make a right click on Windows apps. Select properties. Security tab. Advanced. And this time click on add. Select a principal. Everyone. Check names. OK. Put a check on the box which says full control. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now make a right click on Windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as Windows apps dot old. Now while renaming it, if you receive any kind of error message which says file is open, in that case, open task manager on your computer. 
make a right click on the start menu click on task manager now if you find gaming services make a right click and then click on end task and also open services over here and then go to services and find gaming services make a right click on gaming services click on stop so in my case it's not running so let me go ahead and yeah so make a right click then click on stop again make a right click and then click on stop make sure gaming services is not running and then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old once the rename is done make a right click and then start the service Now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box, then click on inetcpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab, scroll down. Here you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Make sure all four are checked and then click on apply, then click on okay. Now try to install the game. Now the last step is to update your Windows to the latest version using media creation tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file. Then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop. And then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully from Xbox app or Microsoft store. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.